Hi everyone, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. And in this video, we are going to discuss about some of the prerequisites that you need to know to get started with threat and vulnerability management. If you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we discussed about threat and vulnerability management, whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing what are the supported operating systems and platforms for TVM. Based on a specific version of OS, which security patch must be installed for effective vulnerability management? What are the permissions required to access TVM data on Security Center Portal or M365 Defender Console? Why assigning device value helps with better risk assessment? Let's begin. From setup standpoint, the first step is to onboard the devices to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This enables the sensor on the device to start sending data to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint service. And based on the data received from the device, TVM has the capability to start showing you security recommendations on the console. Now, there are total five different kinds of capabilities that exist in TVM. The first one is OS vulnerabilities, then software product vulnerabilities. And from configuration standpoint, TVM can show you OS configuration assessment, security control configuration assessment, and software product configuration assessment. You can easily use filter section on the portal to customize the list as per your requirement. Let me show you all this in action. Choose any portal, be it Security Center or M365 Defender Portal. If you are using Security Center, go to TVM and then click on Security Recommendation. You will get a list of all the security recommendations which are available. Now just click on the filter icon and select the respective filter that you want to apply. For M365 Defender Portal, go to the Endpoints and then click on Vulnerability Management and then click on Recommendations. Here also you can just click on the filter icon and you can customize the list as per your requirement. Now all these recommendations are based on the capabilities of TVM. And there is a list of supported OS versions, which means that you need to know which capability is available with which version of OS. And to check that list, this is the link you must navigate. I will be sharing this link in the description section of this video as well. Let me show you this quickly on the portal. The first section is listing down the OS versions and then the supported capability like OS or software vulnerability. Please make sure that you review this list if you are not getting certain expected recommendations. As Windows down level devices and Windows 10 version 1607 to 1703 do not support all the capabilities. Also, based on certain versions of Windows 10, you need to make sure respective security patches are installed. I will be sharing this link as well in the description section for your reference. So what you see now is the list that I have shown you in the deck. And let's say if I select the third entry and search for the changes related to Microsoft Defender. You can see all the changes are clearly listed here. So if in your environment you have any of these versions of Windows 10, please make sure these security patches are installed. Next requirement is related to remediation actions. As for every recommendation, there will be an associated remediation action. What you see on the screen is the sample list of security recommendation highlighted on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Portal and then a respective task is getting created on Endpoint Manager Portal. And all this is happening because I have enabled the connection between both the services. If you want to know how it is done, please watch the video of how to onboard Windows 10 devices from MDM. The next set of settings which you should configure are RBAC roles. I have created two different videos for SOC tiering model, which clearly demonstrate on how to create different roles for different individuals.
from EVM standpoints, these are the two permissions available which can be mapped to a role. First section is to provide read-only access and the next one is to give remediation actions access. The last one is defining a set value as it helps you to prioritize vulnerability by performing a risk assessment. So if you guys remember this deck from a vulnerability management video where I was explaining about the role of risk assessment with a backing statement, every vulnerability that exists in your environment will not have the same impact. You must make sure that you have clearly defined which assets are exceptionally important for you on behalf of which TVM will prioritize security recommendations. Think about this as a step where you are defining a set values for better risk assessment. Now when we talk about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, there are three different values to define a set value, which are low, normal and high. Now it is recommended to keep domain controllers, ADFS servers or file servers or radius servers or any server that is hosting a production service to be classified as a high value asset. Now the question is how to change the value. Navigate to device inventory, select a specific device and then click on these three dots or sub menu option and then select the device value. From here you can choose any of these three predefined values. The same operation can also be done with API. There will be a different video for this where I will be showcasing you how to access these APIs with the help of Postman or PowerShell script. Now a very important node and that is device value and device tag or machine tag. These are two different attributes of device object and they have their own purpose. So don't get confused between device tag and device value. I will be discussing this in a lot more detail when we will talk about dashboards. In fact, Choosing any of these values will directly impact the exposure score and that's what we will learn next. So let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video. We have discussed about the supported operating system and platforms for TVM. Based on a specific version of OS, which security patch must be installed for effective vulnerability management. Permissions required to access TVM data, why assigning device value helps in better risk assessment. In the next video, we are going to discuss about dashboards. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.